briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The Supreme Court of the United States took on a unique case in 1922, United States v. Bowman, which broadly addressed whether a crime of defrauding the U.S. government could occur outside national borders. Set against the backdrop of maritime trade, the case rested on the allegations of deceitful behavior by the defendants involving a significant transaction with the Standard Oil Company. The defendants were charged with conspiring to defraud the government through the fraudulent procurement of 1,000 tons of fuel oil. After embarking on a transaction with the oil company, they only took delivery of 600 tons to their ship, the DO. Despite only receiving a little over half of the agreed amount, they claimed payment for the full load through the Fleet Corporation, unjustly enriching themselves with the payment for the uncollected 400 tons. However, something unexpected occurred at the district court level. The court declined jurisdiction in the case, believing that the conspiracy, which unfolded in the high seas, fell outside of its purview. This gave the defendants grounds to maintain that their supposed crime either took place outside of the United States jurisdiction or within Brazil's. This unexpected murkiness paved the way for the case to be escalated to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court, upon its review, decidedly refocused the case on the key issue, spanning the geographic boundaries of criminality against the U.S. government. The court leaned on Section 35 of the Criminal Code, a statute specifically intended to target false claims against the U.S., Following their interpretation, the Supreme Court asserted that the alleged offense, regardless of its occurrence in the high seas or foreign territories, was not explicitly exempt by Congress and therefore was within their jurisdiction. Consequently, the court undid the original ruling of the district court, opening the gates for the defendants to be tried again. This ruling importantly established that crimes involving obstruction or fraud committed against the government were not confined to the geographical territory of the United States, setting a pivotal precedent in American legal history. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class. 